Hi everyone, I'd like to show you two things with Coder OSS. I'd like to show you how to update a template and I'd show you how, how to run a JetBrains IDE. In this case, I want to run IntelliJ both in a browser and also using JetBrains Gateway. So let's get started. So let me pull up, you, you'll see on my local computer, I have a dir called pod with IntelliJ. Two files in there, both a uh, Terraform TIFF file and a README Markdown file. I have local VS Code to show you what that uh, Terraform template is. You'll see the different providers I need. So I want to create this as a as a Kubernetes pod, and I need the coder provider. I'm going to prompt the user for things like memory and disk and such. If I made any changes here, um, <clears throat> I would then push this back into the coder server. Um, you'll see in this case, I'm prompting the user for which which versions of JetBrains IntelliJ that I want to install. And then as part of the startup script, I, I, I basically install it. This is this long section here. And then the last step is it basically starts it. So let's move it out of the way. Let's upload the uh, changed template. So uh, let's just assume that I changed something in that template file. And I'll go coder templates push, pod with IntelliJ. It'll run Terraform plan. And then upload that template back in the Coder OSS Postgres database. So you'll see I have a template pod with IntelliJ. I was talking about that markdown file. This just gives devs that are going to build workspaces based on this template. They can see what is in that template. So I already have a workspace built. You'll notice that um, I just changed it. So uh, it's going to have this version change saying that I need to re uh, I need to rebuild it. But in this case, I'm just going to launch it as is because it's currently started. So you'll see it has icons for terminal. So if I want to see my homedir, which is running as a persistent volume claim on uh, on Kubernetes, you'll see those contents. If I want to launch code server, I can. But let's go into IntelliJ in a browser. So let's click on that. And you'll see it launch IntelliJ. And it should take me into the source code file that I was just changing in the past. Okay, so it pulled up uh, JetBrains IntelliJ in a browser. You'll see the source code files. I also have a local, not a local, I have a terminal set up here. And I just want to point out that I have other things installed, like a certain version of Java. And I also have Maven installed. So you have full control because this is all based on an image uh, that was being pulled when I built that template. So with that, let me pivot and show you how to run uh, JetBrains uh, locally using JetBrains Gateway. Okay, now, so the first thing that you need to do to run JetBrains on your local machine is you have to copy down your private SSH key that was issued by Coder. So on the bottom left of the screen is my local terminal, and I'm going to run a command. I already ran it, but I'll run it again just to show you, called Coder Config SSH. And what this does, it does two things. It copies down that private key. It also updates your SSH, your SSH config file to point to your Coder workspace host name. So once this is done, I'm going to set up a gateway, which is a one-time step. So I'll pull over gateway, and you'll see I already have this set up to point to that instance. And then I will launch um, JetBrains gateway. And this is coming over here, and you'll see I'm connected into that same file. And But what's very powerful is this is a local thick client pointing to a JetBrains IDE that's installed in, in the coder workspace. And I can go run commands in the workspace, like if, if I just want to run this simple file name, I can do that here. So hope this helps, and I hope to see you all using Coder OSS soon.